everybody could use just a little therapeutic help to give you a fresh perspective. And I think if that was available to a lot of people that are just generally depressed, I think we could change the tone of the country. I really do. I think that there are so many possible benefits from having psychedelic clinics all over. I mean, we're talking about right now, there's several thousand ketamine clinics. But one of the issues with ketamine clinics is that many of them provide ketamine without therapy. Whoops. So I, yeah, so, I met a lot of those people. So I think the key point is that when we talk about psychedelics, when we talk about the clinics, it's not here, take this pill. Right. It's here, take this pill in a therapeutic context with therapists there to help right. you process the emotions. With an expert, someone who's experienced it themselves who can help you. Yeah, and then yeah. with the therapy afterwards, which yeah. we call the integration process. So it's not just the experience itself. It's the preparation to be open right. to whatever happens. It's the experience. And then I just was the other day with a woman, Gould Dolan, who is a neuroscientist. And what she's talked about and what she's discovered is that psychedelics are these rare substances that have the open up what they call the critical periods. So it's neuroplasticity. It's this ability to rewire your brain that stays for sometimes weeks or longer. With Ibogaine, it can be several months after you have the experience so that the therapy that happens afterwards, the work that you do to integrate it, has special potential to mm. make long-term changes in your behavior, in your brain circuitry. 